I've been on the fence whether or not I should even share this, but this is my battle that I'm having with eczema. And the eczema, I've always had it, and I'm learning that it comes through stressful situations, and I'm also learning that my diet plays a role in eczema. This is my eczema journey from November to December of this year, and if it helps just one person, then I've met my goal. I want to provide resources and share my journey with you. Good morning. This is not one of my better videos, but I just wanted to let you see some of the effects that stress has on your body. Stress, in my case, has manifested itself in the ugly form of eczema all over my face. I've been treating it with medicine. Um, I have ketazone cream, and I have another fancy cream that I can't even pronounce. But you see... I'm so broken out. Uh, right here, it's a dry, terrible patch all over my forehead, under my face. It looks like I have a teardrop scar. It's all here, here, even, look at my lips, terrible. Above my lip, nasty score, sore. <laughs> um, my whole face is rough. It's um, scaly. <laughs> It itches all the time. Sometimes when you have signs like this, your body's letting itself know and letting you know that you're under too much stress. And, you know, you can do all the daily talks that you want to, but sometimes you have to look at the real reason why your body is doing this and why you're reacting like this and what's going on. And when you realize what's going on is stress, you have to look at, what is making this stressful situation? What is causing you to have this reaction? And in my case, it was a job. It was a job that I went to every day and I worked so many hours and really I wasn't appreciated. The more work I did, I was rewarded with more work. I had a sense of dread every morning and, um, you know, the Sunday evening blues. But again, this is your body letting itself know, look, it's even on my neck. Um, it's your body letting itself know that, hey, and letting you know something's got to change. And so, again, not one of my pretty videos, and this is with completely no makeup on, nothing whatsoever. I wish I would have done this two days ago. Um, it's just been completely terrible. But um, stress, and this is what stress does to a body. This is what stress does to your face. And you have to ask yourself, if you're seeing this now, you know, what's going on inside your body that you don't know? And eczema masks its way and strange appearances on your face. My face ranges from being swollen and puffy to dry and drawn and scaly. This shows the puffiness that I'm undergoing in my face. And it hurt so bad that I could not even stand to talk. I was just able to point at the camera because it hurt so bad. You see the redness and the swelling. And all over my neck. It's still itchy and painful. I can't smile all the way from the swelling. Eczema is everywhere. And I'm trying so bad not to scratch it. You see it's even on my chest. And this is the next morning, and you see um, I was up last night itching with my face, and you see how blistered up it is. You see, it's, this skin feels like lizard skin. It's bloody red here, just all over red. I've got patches here, here, by my nose, on my cheek, all the way at the side, all the way up to my hairline. Over here, on my neck. So you see all over, it just, it looks terrible. It looks like I burned myself. It's even on my eyelids, in my corners of my eye. So this is a complete eczema flare-up. It's very painful. I was up scratching and itching last night using 
ice packs. Um, I finally broke down and I put a teeny tiny bit of steroid cream on my face. I'm talking not even a pea size amount. But you know what I discovered is after I put it on, it really didn't help with the itch. So it goes back to, um, you know, that's the first steroid cream I've used since August and it's now December. So I'm going back to, um, I keep using coconut oil on my face. Um, I'm using some CeraVe healing ointment on my face at night. This seems to help some. I've also used some um, Sarna cream as well. I decided to go outside and get some vitamin D on my face. I'm trying to sun for about 10 to 15 minutes daily because vitamin D is healing. And so I'm just sitting in my backyard. And this is day three after an eczema flare up. And you see how my skin is so peely. Look at that, it's even red on my hand. Uh, I don't think the video is gonna capture the full. You still see, I don't have any blush on here. It looks like I do. And you still see how blotchy my face is, even with makeup and how peely and scaly it is. I tried to put some lipstick on thinking it'd make it better, but instead it just glopped up and I have, it looks like dandruff, but it's not dandruff, it's skin off my face. I love my shirt, gross. But you see, it is so dry here. It's just, and you just touch it and the skin just flakes off. It's all over my mouth and face. Uh, super dry, do you see the patches? And this is day three of an eczema flare-up. This is the following morning, and I put sheer Vaseline, pure Vaseline, all over my face. And it's taken away a lot of the redness. Um, I don't know how, many, how much more my skin can peel. I was up last night scratching and itching. Um, it just has just peeled completely off. And... Um, Anyway, it'd be interesting to see how it does. Say my lips are so tight and so dry. I can't put Vaseline on them, put any makeup on to go into work. And um, anyway, it's just, um, again, more of the same. Maybe a little bit better. It's only if the Vaseline has given it some moisture. I left water on my face and then put Vaseline on. It seems that flying in an airplane does even worse things for eczema prone skin you see how red my face is i wanted to show you i'm just in my studio in front of my green screen that i use for work but i wanted to show you how bad my skin looks it looks like i've again been in a car wreck or or hit it's gone from being puffy now to being drawn and you see how tight it looks and the redness and the scaliness it's just um, leaves you feeling super ugly and there's no way to describe it and how bad it looks and how bad it makes you feel. You know, you still see it ranging on my neck all the way from to my forehead. And it just seems like it gets goes from where I think, oh gosh, it's getting better to, oh no, nah, here it is again. The flares ebb and flow continuously. And I'm learning the triggers that play into it. And you see the dryness of my face and how tight it is. And now, just the following day, you see it looks a little bit swollen and still itchy and peely. I think I had rather have the swollen than the drawn and tight. At least with the swelling, you kind of have some volume to your cheeks and to your face, and you don't look like a walking skeleton. But I've been trying different products and trying to make a journal of what I'm eating and what causes itchiness after I eat. And I'm learning that anything with gluten in it causes extreme reactions on my face. Of, um, not wearing any makeup, using a little bit of um, CeraVe on my face. And you see... Um, you see it's just dry, uh, bloody looking. You see all of 
my face. It looks like I've really been beaten. Um, sorry, you could probably hear my washing machine running in the background. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to do. I'm trying to um, sun it, but it's winter, and so there's not a lot of sun getting to it. I can't get over how bad my face looks. You see the red, the redness, the swelling, uh, just the sheer rawness of this. It's so raw. I look like I've got a bad sunburn, and it stings, and when I put lotion on it, it even stings. So, yay. You see it's also on my neck, making me have the dried out elephant skin. And this is week two of him with eczema. And you see the patches on my neck, my face, my skin is so dry, I have cracks, I have dents from eczema, I have swelling, so it's made pockets under my eyes. Now I look like a hollowed out mess with the blistering red rash. It's even on my hands, on my fingers. My chest is red. It looks like I've been burned. You see a close-up view. I mixed up some doTERRA essential oils and I put that on my face. Really, um, this has been, my face has been broken out since um, about December 10th, it's ebbed and flowed, but it got worse whenever I did last Friday. So this Friday was a week ago. Um, I ate some bread, but, and it made, it made all this worse, but, um, I really think that, um, this is a result of using steroids and having steroids in my system for so long. Um, you see it's hot pink. Now, when I used the CeraVe lotion this morning, that's when it turned all this pink. Before then, it was just um, plain, just dry skin, flat colored. So I'm thinking that um, maybe this CeraVe is not um, working with me. Now, this is a good product and it does stop the itching, so you kind of have to pick your poison as to what you want. Even the look that I have for going to the grocery store doesn't last long. You see, the redness comes back, and, you know, it's just nothing but peely. Can you see that? Nothing but peely skin, but from a distance, it doesn't look that bad, <laughs> or yeah, it does, but... Um, the red is completely back and it hasn't been maybe an hour and a half. Out in the backyard trying to get a little sun, a little vitamin D on my skin. You see my shirt, I don't know if you can see it, but you see all the flakes that are on my shirt. I'm just trying to sun my face for about five, ten minutes. Because this sunning is supposed to aid in vitamin D and the healing process for your skin. So I wanted to show you this. This is the same day and this is at night. It seems like the color, why does everything get worse at night? The color is more vibrant at night. You see where it's spread to around my mouth. Down my neck, so that looks like a big passion mark on my neck. It's come around and it's spreading, which is all part of the TSW. Uh, my hairline, it's peely all the way to my hairline, but um, if you could see, it's just this skin is leathery and it's even made like a callus here of just thick skin. It's just like leather 
complete leather. My face is on fire. I don't know that I'll be able to leave this on. I just used some of this um, Aveeno eczema therapy with colloidal oatmeal in it. And uh, my face feels like matches are on it. All right here. So this is coming off. I think this is not one that's going to agree with my skin. So now I'm using a homeopathic medicine. It's essential oils that I've mixed up myself as some patchouli, a little bit of peppermint oil, um, chamomile, lavender, and um, the barrier oil is coconut oil. So that's extremely gentle to my skin. This, believe it or not, I mixed it up this morning about four o'clock in the morning. And this feels so far better than anything else that I've put on my skin. Um, look at that, looks terrible. Looks like I've got a big burn or a passion mark. Nice. But you see how red my skin is, but um, the essential oil has, is calming on it. Um, I think the lavender and it is very calming. The peppermint is, um, I've got some tea tree oil, which is mel melaleuca, I think melaleuca. I'm probably mutilating it. Um, and it also has frankincense in it. And so um, just four drops of each. I'll link the recipe for this down in the description box. I, uh, I do, um, buy doTERRA every month and I am a distributor of doTERRA just I don't pursue it actively because I have so many other interests but uh, this has been the first thing that I've used that has been soothing so I think this is teaching me a lesson <laughs> I'm going to try the um, homeopathic experience and see how this works so this is um this will be day one, but it's supposed to be calming, and it is. I mean, my face is not itching whatsoever, and it's not burning. Um, it is It is very calming and soothing, so um, this may be the ticket. So I'm going to try this and see how this works. I'll keep you posted. And it's the next morning. Um, Believe it or not, I was able to sleep all night. So that is a huge change. Um, you see that um, I'm very flaky. Uh, neck looks often skinny. Very dry, flaky. But not as red as what I've been. And all I used was my roller ball. I was in bed early last night because I have not gotten much sleep. And uh, I woke after two hours of being asleep and kind of disoriented. And um, now I'm up and it's 5 a.m. So I slept for, I slept solid from midnight until five. And so um, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's five hours of solid sleep. And um, I was in bed at, at um, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. So um, I slept from 10 until midnight, then walk, and then um, 5 a.m. So I'm up for the day. But I am going to take a rest whenever I feel like I need it today. I, I am going to. I am going to rest. But um, you see it still red and you see the peelies this is what looks like as the morning has endured or passed this is what my skin looks like as the morning has passed it's been about three hours since i walk and you see the redness is just coming out you see the redness is spreading on my neck and you see it on my face. 
you see it around my mouth. It's really scary considering, you know, when I had issues and with the steroids, I, it started on my eyes and that was the issues. I had atopic dermatitis and it started on my eyes and eyelids. And then I had some here and a little bit flare up on my forehead. I had some on my cheeks and then all this is just, I don't know, I guess it's just overusage of the steroids. <laughs> And my body, it shows where it's dependent on the steroids. And it's wanting me to start using some of that cream. But I've made a pack that unless it gets on my eyelids, I'm not using the steroid cream. I've only used a tiny bit one night when it was on my eyelids so bad. And I was concerned about it you know, causing uh, vision issues. And so I've been... Um, just uh, making a commitment not to use any. And just going to push through to see if I can clear my body of all the steroids, no matter how long it takes. You probably hear my washing machine going in the back, but I just wanted you to see. This is the real me. I took my makeup off, and this is the same day. This is, um, what is today? Today is is um, Thursday afternoon, it's about two o'clock, and I decided to take my makeup off because I'm gonna go ahead and get out in the sun because, you know, the sun is brightest from 12 until two. So I figure after two, I should be good to get out again. You see how red it is? Um, I've just put some of my liquid on there, my potion that I made um, from the essential oils. And again, I'll put that recipe down below. And of course, I'm not an expert. This is just what I'm using, but I know that I felt relief with this, but it's still tight. I mean, listen to that. It's just, it's tight and dry. Um, I was going to try to scrub some off, but I just can't stand it because it's too raw. And so this is just like leathery, leathery skin. It's just like leather and raw at the same time. So it's raw leather. But I just wanted you to see that um, really I can't see any difference. Um, the only difference I would say is that it's not itching all the time. So that is huge. And so this little potion has stopped it from itching so much. Um, of course, when I wake in the middle of the night or something, I'm still itching. But last night was the first night I did not wake in the middle of the night with itching. So that is a huge relief. So I would say there's something to this potion. And, uh, but, um, you know, I guess time's going to tell with how well it cleans up and goes away. But I just wanted you to see this. <laughs> Me and all my glory with the redness from eczema. You see where it's still in my neck? It's kind of spreading. This looks a little bit better today. Um, I can't see where this has looked any better. Still red, red, red. Bad. So I put lotion on this afternoon, and this is month two of this, and you see it's peeling so bad, and I am so red. I had to get this lotion off as quick as I could. The lotion, it seems like it inflames it and makes it worse. <laughs> And so I couldn't wait. I got that lotion off as quick as I could with some water and a cool rag. And I just got through holding um, ice packs on my face because I was hurting so bad and stinging. It's a raw stinging. It almost feels like when you were a kid and you would ride a bike and you fall off and you skin your knees. It feels like that skin, that burning, torn skin sensation all over. Look at my face, how bad it's peeling. The forehead is just cracked. Can you see that? It's just cracked and peeling. You know, it's funny. I've never had eczema. I had it one place here and a little bit on my eyelids is where it started. Spread to here. But all this, all this is new places that I never even had it. And it's just started coming up. You see, it's all the way back in my hairline. So um, I think there may be something to maybe the no moisture. Um, 
I don't even know that I can use my homemade cream that was working well this morning. And you see it's making me have uh, loose skin on my neck, like the elephant-y looking skin on my neck. Perfect. Just what every girl needs in time for the holidays. Yay, Christmas Eve store. And this is how pretty I'll look when I go around my family. What a treat. Hmm. So this is the next morning, and I didn't use any moisturizer last night. And um, surprisingly, the redness is better here. I'm still tight. I'm very swollen, puffy, but hey, I think I like the puffy better than drawn and nothing there. So at least the puffy, my skin doesn't look as old when it's red and inflamed. My skin is sucked in so that I have no life whatsoever in my face and my cheeks. So I think I prefer the swelling some. Uh, yeah, you can tell that I'm, I'm swollen, uh, red, red, but believe it or not, I think it looks better without any, without having using any moisturizer. Now I did try to use some moisturizer last night, but when I put it on, it was so bad and so painful. It was stinging so bad. And no matter what I tried, even just coconut oil, I couldn't take it. So it, left me with um, trying the no moisturizer regimen. So I think I'm going to try that and see how that pans out. I just wanted to show you, I have um, used my um, buff puff and I just kind of took the scratchies off, the scales off, but look at the dry splotches. See so them bleeding over here. Yeah, I still like a scaly gorilla monster. And it feels so tight and dry. It feels like the desert. So this is getting cleaned up for Christmas. And I've got it covered. I use the Tarte cover, um, Tarte Shape Tape makeup. So I use the Tarte Shape Tape and I put some extra blush on. I put it on my cheekbones and the apples, and normally I don't do that. But if you can see this, it's nothing but a bloody, peely, cracked mess, and I don't think this camera is really showing that. I'm wearing a turtleneck because it hides my neck. Hope I can stand and not itch with a turtleneck on. Um, but you see my forehead. It's just a peely mess but overall no moisturizer i think is is going to be my ticket i'm going to try that so this would be today would be the first solid day by tonight with no moisturizer and we'll see how that works and try that. so this is my face uh, one day the same day and i've put makeup on because I had Christmas Eve gathering, and you see how tight my face is. Look at it. Look at the elephant skin. You hear my granddaughter in the background. It looks like I have aged exponentially. What I didn't say is my face is itching so bad that I tried oatmeal and water. My relative said cook some oatmeal and take the water and dip a wash rag in it and put it on your face. And it made it itch so bad I couldn't stand it. And this is the results after trying the oatmeal. Morning. Yeah, yeah, his face is still peely and itchy. Oh, but it's not red. It's not red. Didn't use any lotion yesterday. So a full 24 hours of no moisture. Well, this is, today is Christmas day. And um, you see how my face looks. It looks horrible. Look at my neck. I mean, it's completely spread. It's so raw and chapped. Uh, forehead looks terrible. 
it's itching real bad around my eyes. Um, you know, you want to scrape it because the skin is all peely, but when you scrape it, it just makes it worse. So then you just don't scrape it at all. You see how red the neck is. I did the complete no moisture treatment last night where I had nothing. Um, you know, I, I didn't put anything on my skin. I just, I'm just trying to let it dry out. Um, I'm just at a loss for what to do. I know that it's tempting to go ahead and use some more of the steroids on it, especially when you see it spreading. It's all over the side of my face, chin. It looks like my whole face is, is going this way. Um, my face is swollen. My cheeks um, hurt to the touch. But yesterday, I was drawn. I had that drawn look. And today, it's more red and swollen. Yesterday, I did eat uh, dressing. I had a good size helping of dressing, and I think that gluten in it played a part. Um, adding to foods that I just need to scratch from my list. Um, I have a headache, and um, I'm going to go and take some Excedrin migraine and uh, go and lay down for a bit. This is just very, it's very upsetting when you look in the mirror and you see yourself looking this way. And when you wake and you hope that you see improvements and you don't see improvements, instead you see yourself looking like a, a monster, a scaly gila monster. Um, you see peeling around your eyes, your nose, your mouth, um, and, and you don't feel like it's getting any better. You feel like it's getting completely worse. It just makes you depressed. And you see the next morning where my face is still red, but now it's swollen. You see the puffy right eye, and this is after I put ice pack on it to help with the swelling. It's puffy, it's itchy, my face is dry, and you see the dryness and the scaliness. You know, again, uh, you see, I wanted to shoot this in my husband's bathroom because you see the, my face and all the scales on it. Um, I didn't do a lot of talking because when my face is swollen, it hurts so bad to talk. Just got through slopping off my face. And it still looks terrible. You see the skin is peeling. Red, peely, scaly. And it looks so bad, but I wanted to give you a clear visual of this transformation that my skin's going from day to day. Just when I think I'm doing better, it reverts to either breaking out in a full flare or swelling. And you see the process now that I'm going through of the scales where I call it the alligator skin look. And it's really worse when it's alligator because you can't cover it and it still itches. have to look back to see what day it is but I woke this morning and this is what my skin looks like it is so itchy right now it's dried if you can see it close up and it's just peely I have not used any moisturizer the neck is actually looking better and believe it or not it itches less since I'm not using moisturizer on it when I put any moisturizer on it, it stings. It doesn't matter what it is. It stings. And with no moisturizer, it doesn't itch but every now and then. When I lay down at night and you get still is when it itches. And um, I sleep with an, a sleeping mask. And I couldn't sleep with my sleeping mask last night because it made... Um, it made around my forehead, it made it itch. And so I had to take that off. And then this morning I kept wanting to scratch, but I'm trying, um, even though my fingernails are coated, um, I have them dipped in the dip polish. I try not to touch my fingernails because I know that is the worst thing in the world that you can do is break that skin. And so I get a little ice pack and I keep the little ice bags in the refrigerator, they're just the ice bags are filled with that gel stuff, and I keep those in the freezer, and then I'll put those on my face because it kind of numbs the sensation. But I'm using 
this is a lip brush, and I figured since it was a lip brush, it's got little prongs on one side, and you can see I've washed it, but I've used it. Um, and this is a finer side, and I was going to use this to scrape some of the skin off. Uh, and you see that it's flaking off. They say to use a brush, and I use a body brush before I get in the shower, but I can't stand the thought about something as hard as a body brush going over my skin because under this is just new skin and it's very it's very raw and you know once you take this layer off but i have to kind of brush it off because you'll run your hand across your forehead and skin just flakes off it's embarrassing um, i remember being somewhere and touching my forehead and being in horror as flakes fell onto my black pants. I was so embarrassed I was in a meeting and uh, not the ideal situation. So I'm just taking this, the bumpy side, this is the bumpy side and just going over it. And I have cleaned this. It's just, uh, you know, I've used this before on my lips. And so um, it's just kind of stained, but um, I did clean it with some soapy water before I ever started doing this. And I did this once yesterday but I just wanted to show you this in case you were going through this. And so I've gone over all this, all oh, my forehead. And so I'm barely, I'm not pressing hard. I'm lightly going over this. This is not where I'm just pressing super hard, but you see the flakes are coming off. It doesn't make it look any better because it's so dry. You hear it, you hear the sound of the dry skin. And you see it here. <laughs> if you're a child of the 80s, it reminds me of uh, some of the old movies. I cannot think of the movie where the girl had dandruff in her hair real bad. This is what this reminds me of now. So this is what's disgusting. I touch my face and it just rains down flakes everywhere. I have flakes all over my shirt. You know, I went and had my nails done to get them coated again so that I won't scratch myself to pieces. And look, I keep wiping it off my shirt. It's like dandruff, except it's skin dandruff. And it's so dry, all I do is touch it and it's just, my neck looks like I'm 90 years old. You see it's all red here. Good times. Yeah, that salt water. Can you see any of the scales now, Marius? Maybe, not like I did yesterday when we flew in. God, the scales were massive. We couldn't even take a picture together because the scales were so damn big. You know what well, saying? that was, and, and that, you didn't see it when they were huge. That You saw it on my, that was on my, just that. no, <laughs> no. They were falling off in big chunks, and now I don't see any scales except for a little bit patch right there. And I cracked a lip. Yes, the Bahamas salt water in the sun is it. Look at my neck. I've only got that one place. This woke mm -hmm. me itching this morning. It's official. We need a place here. But you know what I like? What? You didn't itch. I don't want to hear you complain about itching today. Not I didn't once. itch, not once. Again. Looks like we have to move to the beach, for sure. This is the best my skin has looked. I cannot believe how much better my skin looks, Marius. Come on, bring your beard, let's go. It's, um, it's helping it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because I can't, I'm sitting here looking. It's still flaking, the forehead's flaking. But the eyes aren't, um, the swelling's going down. The swelling is going down, but it's still kind of pinky color. But the eyes aren't, um, I don't have big flakes all over my face anymore. And it feels a little bit smoother on my forehead. And the cheeks look better. They're not sunk in. And my neck's just all but cleared. 
It's barely rough right there. Only a barely patch. My lips are back plump back up full. Mm -hmm. My cheeks are getting full again. Where they're not drawn tight from being pulled and stretched with skin that's irritated. And the sides looks almost better. Still got pink. But no really big flakes on my forehead. It's official. You know what it means? Gotta move here. We've gotta move here. We've gotta move. Where are we? Black yes. Point? The Exumas. We've gotta move to the Exumas. Thank you for staying with me on the Chronicle of my skin and my eczema battle November and December and you see I was so happy that's the best my skin has looked so maybe I need to move to the beach for salt water and sunshine mm -hmm.